Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This is an HP Pavilion 15 AB series. The exact one is an AB 113, but this can be 113, 20, there are many versions of them. But in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step, how you can open it up and how you can boost up the performance by just simply replacing a mechanical drive with a solid state drive. This is just a demonstration. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or US 11 USB boot drive. You just plug it in and once you put the new solid state drive in and simply install the Windows, just follow the instruction and do a few Windows updates and you're ready to go. It's really simple. I'm, I'll put those links in the video description in case you want to install your Windows. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to get to those hard drive, how to remove it and how to replace and what are the capacities that you can have in here. Just remember, once you replace the main storage, you're not going to have any windows, you files and stuff like that. You can purchase yourself an enclosure for the hard drive. So you can grab your mechanical drive, put it in an enclosure and use it as an external hard drive. Like I have one right over here. Here, like you can grab this uh, enclosure. Here I have a one terabyte. You can just pop it in here and uh, use, and then you're going to have a, it's a really cheap, about $15 a USB-C, so you can have a really external hard drive. So you can grab your mechanical drive, put on an enclosure, install the new Windows. Once you're inside the Windows, you can just connect this one via USB, go inside the user folder in here, and grab all your data, and put it back on you wherever you had it. So there's another good option to get this caddies. I will leave a link for this one in a video description in case you need it. All right, so first thing first, you want to back up or and you just power off the laptop completely, flip it upside down. I see that this one is has a little crack on them in here. This one is broken, the plastic, there's a little notch right there. So let's see what's gonna happen. All right, first thing, first down here, we're gonna go over the tool I'll be using and I think the screwdriver set. Uh, from this tool set, we'll be using a Phillips number one and Phillips number zero. First, we're gonna start with a Phillips number one. Also, you need a little bit of needle or a really sharp tweezer. There's a hidden screws under this cover and this cover right here. So you just want to poke right on the side and lift up this cover so you can expose the hidden screws underneath. All right, there we go. Now first, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery by pulling this trigger and removing the battery. Make sure you have it on the unlock position and slide it, hold it, and lift up. The model that I mentioned, it says right in the corner, top bottom, HP Pavilion model 15-AB113. So this applies for any AB series. First thing first, we're gonna remove the two screws on the back cover in here. These are the long screws. So we're gonna keep them in a single separate pile. So remove these two screws and keep them in one pile. Then we wanna remove these covers in here. If you cannot lift it with your hand, use a guitar pick opening tool, stick it right in there and just lift up a little bit. Once you lift up a little bit, just wiggle it around, it will come loose. Same thing in here. Just lift it up, move it to one side. All right, once we have that one done, now we're gonna remove all the screws in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, 60 screws that are right hidden on the back side, and then remove everything on the side, mid, everywhere. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So you start from one corner and remove everything that you see. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. Appreciate that. Once we remove all the screws, double check, make sure you haven't missed any. You want to slide the DVD drive out. And there's a two tiny screws in here. And those are a Phillips number zero. Go ahead and remove those. And we can see that this plastic, it is broken in here. Probably is right there. So I'm not breaking it. It was broken. So yeah, anyway. So once you have it in this position, you're gonna open up the laptop a little bit. And what you wanna do, you wanna stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just wanna twist it, and you wanna hear those big click sounds. That's what you wanna hear, you wanna work 
yourself in the front end on the side go all the way to the back corner and do the under the dvd drive all right once you have it now you want to close the screen put it face down grab it from front end up wiggle it around a little bit while you're pulling up in 45 degree you want to push it towards the back slowly just wiggle it around and it will scoop right under those cables and it will come out just like this. Oh, it is broken, so there's a tiny fracture over there too. You can put a super glue if you want to. But... All right, right away here, we can see that there is no M.2 storage in here. People keep asking, can I put an NVMe or M.2 SSD? There is no, we can only have one storage in here, which is the mechanical drive 2.5 inch or SSD 2.5 inch. You could grab a caddy with a extra space for a mechanical drive or a SATA in here that will connect to this in here. It's called a caddy for SSDs. I'll put the link in case you want to have two drives in here. There's nobody anywhere. They don't use any more optic drives, so you can take advantage of that. All right. So first, to remove this one, doesn't have any screws or anything on it. We are going to lift up this latch right in here 90 degree upward, just like that. Then what you want to do, you want to put the spatula right in the corner in here, not on the adapter, on the side in here, beside the adapter, and you want to lift it up just like this. And then you want to slide it towards this palm rest, towards the right. With the trigger, because this one, the whatever you call it, this earlobe thing, metals, they go under the plastic. So, And then you want to just pull out the flex cable, pull it up evenly. So this is one terabyte Western Digital. And so remember these plastics, they don't have any screw, it just come out, there's a tiny hole in it, they go in there. Don't lose the orientation that you're removing it. Let's say you grab a new SSD, I have one random SSD in here. First we need to remove this adapter. Just pull it on the plastic in here, don't put it on the flex cable. Put it on that side, a little bit of this side. They do get really tough. Once you remove it, it only goes in one way. And the SSDs, they have the same connection in here. So what you want to do, you want to leave it like that. And you want to bring it up like this. Plug it in there. Grab this one and push it in there. The SSD have a little less profile, so you have a little more space in here. So you can put up to 4 terabyte SSD drive in here or 2 terabyte mechanical drive. The reason is after 2 terabyte, it gets really thick and you cannot fit it in here. Once you have it in here, hold it, don't lose it. Don't let it fall apart. If it does fall apart, don't worry, just you know that this latch thing goes in the back side, so you know it has to go in there. So it's no brainer, but in case you don't wanna just solve puzzles. Before I put it in there, I'm gonna first open up the latch and I'm gonna connect the flex cable right underneath. Push it inside the jack all the way and lock it down. And gently in 45 degree, push the back end in there and bring it, put it down there. All right. And this is how you can add it in here. Once you have the SSD in there, just simply grab the bottom cover. And you want to scoop it from the back towards the front, being in an offset position, scoop it underneath. So you scoop these cables. These are the important one. You want to scoop it in towards yourself and push it from here towards you, the corner. I'm holding the front with my thumb. And I'm pushing it, you hear a tiny click sound, that's what you want to hear. And then you want to push the front towards the screen on the side, and you want to hear those nice click sounds. Those are the clips are getting locked back in. Once you finish with those, go ahead and put the two screws that you removed under the DVD drive. And grab the DVD drive, slide it in there. We have it in there. First, let's go ahead and put the switch back again to Philip number one. We are going to put, let's say, two screws right in here. One, but I put everything on the back row. Once you put the screws in the back row, you want to grab these covers. You want to bring it, sit them down straight and push them in and make sure it has to click in. If it doesn't click it, because it's not in place, there we go. And then tighten up the screw right on top. Do the same thing on the other side. And put the longer screws. 
Now, the rest of the screws, they go all over whenever you see a screw hole. And then to finish it up, just put the top uh, covers for the screws, and that should cover up today's video. Just remember when you power on, you, you're, gonna, you're not going to have any operating system. You have to install Windows freshly start and grab the old hard drive that you have, convert it to an external hard drive, and that should be all. Again, I hope you guys like this video and I help you guys out to upgrade your storage for your HP Pavilion A15AB. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.